Back at the book segment tonight, the American Obesity Association says 65% of adults in this country are overweight and 30% of the kids are chubby. A situation is causing a lot of social problems. With us now, Mimi Roth, who often writes about overweight Americans. I guess you are a militant, <laughs> slim person. But first I want to say, this conversation is not about health and diabetes and heart disease, all of which can be exacerbated by uh, people who are uh, overweight, particularly obese. This is about socializing. Now, I, I, you know, some people just like to be overweight. They enjoy their life that way. They have a lot of fun. What's wrong with that? You know, I, I'll tell you, Bill, right now the majority is overweight. The statistical norm, overweight. If we're not careful, we're all going to be overweight. Not we're all you thinking and I. fat. Not oh. you and I. You and I will be, you know, uh, we're not going to go there because we are, we've chosen, uh, I'm speaking for you, but I assume you have, that you're just not going to weigh more than a certain amount, correct? I have made that choice, but let me ask you this. Who's going to pay and who's going to police? We have an $80 billion bill coming in every year with obesity-related expenses to health care. Who should pay? Should you and I pay? Well, you know, it's a free country, it's a free society, and there are people who are slim who do drink every night. Who's going to pay for them? And they take tranquilizers. Do I have to pay for that? You see, everybody lives a lifestyle. But you said, this is a quote from you, um, would you give your child a cigarette? No, but you'll give them a Twinkie. Now you're equating a Twinkie to a cigarette. Isn't that a little militant? The first thing we have to uh, accept is that obesity is killing us. Once you accept that, you realize that prime suspect number one is junk food. Okay. How many Twinkies does it take to hook your child so on junk food? So if you have a kid and a kid is extra good, you're not going to give him a cookie or a Twinkie? Oh, they've been saying for years not to use food and junk food in particular as a reward. No, I would, I would hope we would think of something fun to do rather than something So to your eat. kid is never going to get a treat in, your, in his or her life? Did I say that? Yeah, I didn't you just say said, that. don't I give him. I said him. a Twinkie. Come on. <laughs> well, if my child's going to get a treat, it probably will not be full of chemicals, synthetic hormones, food coloring. Total rice no. cake. The kid's going to get a, no, kid's going to no. run away. No, you He's going to run away. He's going to split. Mimi, uh, let her no. want the rice cake. No, no. Let Once me in a you. while, moderation, come on. Show me the one American who knows what that word means. I can. Here it is. I eat Twinkies once in a while. All right, let me ask you this. You also clearly make a lot of other choices to make sure you stay Yes, flint. there's a certain weight I'm not going over. When That's we, it. We now know that nearly 50% of all be overweight in the next five years. We can sit around and go, oh, that's so sad. I'd but he here's the thing. When you advise someone, when you advise someone who has a dream of someday doing what you do, the next Bill O'Reilly, will it no, help? I would never advise anyone to do that. <laughs> will it help him or hurt him to be overweight Look, in your it, business? It's obvious that you have to, whatever line of work you choose or lifestyle, conform to what is going to make you successful. If you're going to play for the New York Mets, you can't be 350 pounds. But what I'm trying to tell you is, right. there are people who make a choice, and the choice is I'm not going to be a Spartan, I'm going to enjoy my life, I'm going to have some food that tastes good, and they might be a little overweight, and I got no problem with that. And it would be A-OK -okay if there weren't secondhand obesity. Secondhand obesity? Secondhand obesity? I coined the phrase, here's what it means. If you're a fat parent, you're going to have a fat kid. Your kid deserves better than that. So you, it, it's not just a personal choice. The rest of us pick up the tab. The next generation's fat. We see that obesity comes educational possibilities. And if I were I China... I know very smart people who are heavy. Oh, well, we don't Come need on. to talk about the exceptions. Let's talk about, oh, yeah, smart, yes. That isn't what I'm saying. I'm saying that your academic studies show that academic performance can be compromised by obesity. If I'm China and I'm India and I'm looking out at economically at this country, I'd say, you know what, keep your processed food. You, America, you get fatter, you get sticker, sicker, and we're on the way. You earlier, uh, actually, no. earlier, we're talking about sissies. I th this I th is a country of sissies. I think you may be going overboard too much. I think moderation in everything. I think people should choose the way they want to be. Obesity, obviously, I agree with you. That's going to lead to very, very bad health problems down the road, and we may have to pay for them. That's not right. But, you know, if you're a few pounds overweight, I wouldn't be obsessing about it. And if I were your kid, I'd be running away. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming in. Thank Next, you. we'll wrap things up with the most ridiculous item and some of your mail.